Hi, my name is Patrick, but you can call me 26. And what you're going to do in this video is we are going to talk about button styles, right? Now, button styles provide us with a way to sort of encapsulate all the appearance and behavior of your buttons of like you could make a custom one with some appearance and behavior of a button and make it reusable so that you can use it in multiple buttons, right? What that would look like is this, right? Let's first create it and then we can create a button that uses it, right? So what you're going to do is we're going to come here and say struct like so. This is going to be, let's say, custom button style like so. So we call it custom button style. And this one's going to be of type button, spell it correctly, button style like so. Button style, which is a protocol. And um, we could have that. And we're just going to say make body with the configuration right so what we want to do is we would like to come here and get the configuration here and say configuration like so and we say um dot label dot la label spell it like so label um make the give it a bit of padding around the label say padding like so have the padding then we come and say the background is going to be color dot let's make it purple then after that, we say the foreground style, uh, foreground style, which is the foreground color, which used to be the foreground color, is going to be white like so. Then we're going to say uh, we want it clip shape is going to be cap seal like so. Then um, that is going to be that. Let's do that first. And then we could come here and we could put what we're going to put is we're going to create a button, right? So let's just put a simple button like so. It's going to have the word add me. And here we're not going to do anything, but we just want to give it the button style of let's say button button style and the button style in question is going to be custom button style, right? So we do that and we get this, right? We get this um this padding and this color, right? Now the button is still not that unique, right? Where this because if you think about it, we could have access to the same uh when you're we're creating a custom view modifier, right? A custom view modifier. Where this can be interesting or this can be good or this can be unique and where it would look like the you could compare to the configuration update handler that was introduced in iOS 15 for UI kit um, that we use if you're following with my Tinder clone um, is that we can essentially change the look or the feel or how the buttons the how it acts when it's pressed right so what that would look like is let's come and see that we could scale it and come in and see scale effect and for the scale effect we could come here and we say this is just going to be um let's make sure that we can pass in the scale effect right that's one thing we could do we could come here and we say something like um let's come in and we say something like let scaled or spell it correctly or however you want to spell it right scaled and this has to be core graphic flute let's have scaled there and then we could have an initializer the initializer is going to be scaled like so. And we want this to be a default value in case you don't pass anything, right? This is going to be 0 0.9, right? So in case you don't pass anything like we do here, it doesn't complain. So what we want to do here next is just come and we say, okay, not, not here, but here, select this and come and say configuration. And this is going to be dot is pressed, right? A Boolean that indicates whether the user is currently pressing the button. So when you press it, we want to say, we want the scaled amount else we want it to be the um, the size that it is, right? So when it's not being scaled, use that particular amount. When you're scaling it, reduce the size by 0 0.9 or whatever the user has specified it to be, right? So we could apply the same to opacity, right? Come here and say dot opacity, like so. And also make it dependent on uh, the user pressing it, right? So we say configuration dot is pressed, like so. And what you're going to have here is going to be, um, the opacity is going to be 0 0.8 or it's going to be 1.0, right? So if we do this, we are now going to get the when we press the button it's going to the opacity and the and the size is also going to change right so let's do that you can see it right you can see it and maybe uh, padding let's just put 16 right put 16 like so and do that and okay right so that is basically it and we could make it more pronounced let's make this something like 0 0.6 it's going to be a bit more pronounced when we actually pass in the um when you pass in the scale right so now it's going to be 
a lot smaller. Now it's more exaggerated because you're making it a lot smaller than what it is, right? So that's the advantage of using button style. And now we can apply it to multiple buttons, right? We could come here and we say something like button. Um, this one is going to be called uh, something like plus, like so. We're going to have a button called plus. Come here, do this. And we have plus and we want to apply the button style. Um, we say button style and this is just going to be custom button style right now we have the ability to apply a particular custom button style and the ability to to affect the behavior of the button i.e how it work how it seems when it's pressed by applying this particular style so this particular use um of dealing with the updating it based on whether or not it's being pressed or not is where the custom button uh, the button style actually shines right so that is that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, follow my other, there's a playlist where we're building a Tinder clone using UIKit and SwiftUI. Have a look at that if you're into it, follow along. And I will see you in the next video.